against your state's my number 25 ranked Delta State against Texas A&M Commerce. Let's get to the highlights. Captains for Delta State today are number 10, Richard Freelon, and number 27, Trenton Warren. Going to throw it deep, got a pass, caught, complete. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Delta. Patrick Bethley for 40 yards, and the statesmen lead it 6 to nothing. Vince Serrata will put this one down at the 26-yard line. It'll be a 36-yarder officially out of the hold of champion. The kick is up on the way. The kick is long enough. The kick is straight enough, and the kick is good. Station have cut the lead to four. It's 14 to 10 on the last play of the first quarter. Sharana, the freshman out of Cumming, Georgia, will come on and try his second field goal of the day. This is a little shorter. Placement is down. The kick is up on the way, and the kick is good. Serrata will put this one down at the 24-yard line. It'll be a 34-yard attempt. The kick is up on the way, and the kick is right through the middle. Vince Serrata, three for three as time expires here in the first half. It's 21-16, to length champion on the hard count, wants to throw it. Still looking, throws across the middle, passes, caught, cuts up at the five, dives, touchdown, Delta State! Champion to Casey Osborne for the third time this season. Champion from the pistol, Belair behind him. Handoff right side, Belair cuts up at the five on his feet, down to the one, dives in, he's in, touchdown! Belair kept his feet all the way to the end zone, and the freshman from Los Angeles, California, has given the statesman the lead. 29-28 with 109 to play here in the third quarter. 10:54 to go in this one here in the fourth. Rollison going to hand fumble. it off, and the fumble, and the States would have it. States would have recovered the fumble. It'll be first and 10 for the States at the 14-yard line. There to create the fumble and to recover it. Big number 56, Diego Lubin. The ball is on the turf. Lubin falls on it, and you are not going to pry it out of that man's hands. Got to get it in the end zone right here. Hands it off, Foy straight ahead. He's not going to get there, does he? They're going to check the pile. They're going to call it a touchdown. All right. Statesmen are in with 106 to play. 45-30, six is our score. Not going to win this one tonight, but a great effort by the Statesmen. Got to play better. You know, um, you can't give a good, good commerce team as many chances as we did tonight. I'm definitely proud of our football team. I think uh, when you look at the stats and the chances that we had and the mistakes that we made, which uh, Commerce had a lot to do with that, they're a good football team. I think Coach Carthell is doing a great job there. Um, but for us to still be in this football game is a positive I'm going to draw on. Uh, we've just got to eliminate the mistakes. Obviously, I was proud of our team. They kept playing hard. They played to the very final whistle. Uh, when the horn blew, we were still in the game, and uh, I was proud of that. Uh, but we know that if we can just clean up, clean up our self-inflicted wounds, so to speak, um, I think that we're going to have a, a, a very tough football team. You know, we saw they were tough. They looked tough on film, and exactly what they were. And um, like Coach said, we just have to, you know, uh, minimize our mistakes and you know, um, finish drives. You know, uh, we'd rather like touchdowns than field goals and um, just keep our percent of error down. Uh, we knew coming in we would play a great offensive team, very, had some very athletic guys, especially at the quarterback position. We knew he would uh, keep plays alive. That hurt us, uh, he hurt us with his feet, uh, scrambling out of the pocket and hitting guys deep, rolling uh, to both sides. Um, so, I mean, that's basically what it was. He, uh, we knew we were facing a great athletic quarterback and they had a lot of guys who can go up and get the ball and make uh, sure catches and that's what they did. So. We'll uh, watch the film, learn from it, and uh, get ready for the next game. We know we know what we're capable of doing when we take care of the football. We know what we're capable of doing when we play disciplined football the way we're supposed to play it. And um, you know we can't uh, you can't keep going backwards. Talked about the third quarter. I mean that was a great quarter, but we still gave up a touchdown with our defense over there drinking water. Can't do that. Can't win. Can't beat a good football team. They're a good football team. They are. And uh, my hat goes off to them and uh, what they've done. But uh, I think we're a good football team, too. We just got to clean up the mistakes. I learned that if we play well and we, we take care of the football, we can be pretty dangerous because we do have some exciting players. I'm sitting with three of them right here that can make plays. Um, we, we can do some things offensively and defensively. We had six sacks tonight defensively, which was a big improvement from last week. But 
we have to take care of the things we can control, and that's the football. we got to take care of that football. Unfortunately, the Statesmen take home a 45 to 37 loss here in Arlington at the Lone Star Football Festival. But Delta State had a good showing and it shows hope for the future. Reporting at Cowboys Stadium, I'm Katie Smith.